everybody welcome to my channel I am Devi nice to meet you if you are new here welcome to our beautiful family if you are my loyal baby you already know how much I love and appreciate your presence for still being here and I am grateful to everybody who has recently subscribed to the channel okay so you are so much welcome and appreciated thank you to everybody who always shares their time with me you are so much appreciated Okay, so today's reading is going to be about who is obsessing over you. As always, it's a general reading. It may not resonate with every single person. One, two, three. Okay, pick your option and let's get started. Hey, group one, welcome to your reading. Let's see who is obsessing over my group number one universe. Who is obsess obsessing over my group number one? the energy please I am channeling number 17 okay it might be somebody's birthday I hear Jupiter healing somebody's finances is getting better also somebody might be attracting a soulmate right now uh, possibly a true love and future husband if you are feminine interested in a masculine you, you know regardless somebody might be attracting just you know husband okay a male partner yeah I'm having a vision of diamond ring somebody from this group is gonna get proposed maybe <laughs> let's see who is obsessing over my group number one collective energy please universe thank you please provide us with the most accurate answers who is obsessing over my group number one universe high priestess uh, somebody who is uh, yeah spiritual connection again as I've told you before uh, soulmate you know telepathical communication crown chakra third eye energy past life connection might be Pisces or Taurus okay um, somebody who is very spiritually inclined spiritually gifted who has some sort of esoteric knowledge who loves to read books probably an introvert okay who is obsessed I hear Scorpio okay so the Emperor Aries energy again you see masculine divine masculine energy okay for some of you you are attracting your divine counterpart again husband you see the emperor is husband okay so you are attracting a husband <laughs> okay who is obsessed though yeah because you uh, awaken this romantic feelings uh, you know, this person wants to be your knight in shining armor. This person, you just give this person a sense of butterflies in the stomach. This person wants to, I don't know why I hear overseas. Uh, for some of you, distance might be involved. I'm channeling number seven again, okay. Somebody uh, is really abundant here, okay. Queen of Cups. Um, I hear also earth sign. Somebody might be an earth element, might be having earth in their charts, okay? So, um, again, intuitive, spiritually inclined, very compassionate, empathetic, you know, also intelligent, emotional intelligence, okay? Six, oh, did I ch just, haven't I just channeled, you know, overseas, okay? Yeah, for some of you, there is this distance is involved here, okay? Ace of Wands. This person uh, cannot resist your charms, uh, you know, having, you know, sexual fantasies about you also, okay? Like, this person daydreams about you a lot, okay? Four of Cups. Let's see. Who is obsessed over you? Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Maybe for some of you, this person, uh, again, this person, first of all, sees you as a long-term long partner. For some of you, you might be ideal for this person, okay, with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups energy. This person finds you really physically gorgeous, attractive, you know, also, 
It's about your divine ess essence, your femininity, also your intelligence. You know, there is this sense of silent confidence about you, okay? Somebody from this group might be loving to wear black color a lot, okay? Like, it's what I'm channeling, okay? Especially if you have this water element in your chart, okay? Also, yeah, again, I feel like this person, it first could have started with the ener energy of crush, then it has started developing, you know, like this person wants to be a provider for you, okay? Ten of cups, you see, you are attracting, a, you know, potential partner, okay? Like, this person daydreams about marrying you one day, you know, cuddling, sleeping together, waking up next to you, you know, the sun warming up your faces. Also, I am having vision of the sea, maybe this person for some of you might be daydreaming about this going to the honeymoon towards the sea you know like this maldives or you know all those nicer places where there is you know uh, the sun uh, shines brighter also the sea okay uh what i'm channeling here i, I was channeling something the hermit virgo energy for some of you, um, this person might be tidy, also may love how organized you are for some of you, if you are this well organized, uh, you know, person. For some of you, this person may love the way you dress up, okay? Let's see, who is obsessed over my... It's, it's not obsession, it's love, okay? Like... This person just adores, ooh, we have the Emperor and the Empress and the Ten of Cups. For some of you, it's your husband if you are married, okay, or wife who is obsessed with you. This person, yeah, you, you uh, make this person feel excited and passionate. You spark something within this person, you know, like you always make this person feel excited, like, it, it, this person feels like uh, they will never get bored with you, you know, in a relationship, like, uh, you, I hear layers, maybe, um, you, you have layers to your personality in a good way, you know, like, again, also the high priestess energy and the empress, you know, you are 100 percent that bitch, you are abundance, you are fertile, this person sees you in high regards, you know, long-term partner, mother or father of their children. I also see this, for some of you, you might be having red aura color, okay? You ignite this passionate feelings within this person, okay? Uh, passion, excitement, inspiration, like, yeah, that's why, you know, like, who is obsessed, who is obsessing over my group number one universe? Three of Cups. Let's see. Uh, for some of it might be, you know, your social circle person. Again, having eyes on you. Maybe this person is, you know, approaching you as a friend right now. This person loves how intelligent person you are. You know, like you are the whole package. You are the high priestess. You are the empress. You embody all the queens. We have, all, you know. For some of you, I'm feeling like uh, you might be two people obsessing over you, okay? <clears throat> but regardless, like, in general, uh, for this group, I don't know why I'm channeling 100, number 100, I don't know why. You might be seeing 100 zero zero or something, I don't know why. Okay, so... Uh, you tap into this person's inner child yeah for some of you you, you may be making this f person feel like a kid again again tapping into their inner children for some of you you are a, a, you know energetic healer and this person is picking up on this and this person feels soul connection and this person loves how mysterious person you are that's why it could be creating this healthy obsession, okay? Yeah, the world, okay? There is this sense of peace, peaceful resolution. I hear also reconciliation for some of you, okay? So, also, yeah, you mean the world to this person, you know? Like, also, as I've channeled before overseas, for some of you, distance is involved. 
this person might be ha a, a fixed sign also being fixated on you that's why obsessing over you because this person sees you as the one okay like i don't know if you see this see this person as the one okay who is obsessing over my group number one universe who is obsessing over my i don't know why i want to sing <laughs> okay contract yeah, I, I am channeling this workplace for some of you might be dealing with a Libra, okay? All tied up. Yeah, this person uh, feels this emotional connection and feeling stuck on you. That's why obsessing over you, okay? Woman holding a heart. Yeah, we have Queen of Cups twice. Like, this person adores you and finds you really adorable, okay? This person, if you are this on a softer side, I feel like this person loves your voice for whatever reason, okay? I feel like fem some of my feminists here have really, be you know, like a nice cute voice, okay? The thinking man, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? This person sees you as the one because... Um, this person, uh, you know, sees you as compatible partner, yin and yang energy, you know, like, uh, again, uh, this person thinks that uh, they will never get bored of you and bored in this connection because you are, you embody all the queens and you have so many beautiful qualities to yourself, okay, and you smell good, it's what I've heard, and this person is thinking of taking the action, okay. Also, again, you, you know, yin and yang energy. The temple path. You feel like home to this person, okay? Like, um, again, you give the sense of peace to this person. I also hear att att manifesting, attracting. Somebody is visualizing, or maybe you have been visualizing. Yeah, that sound Leo energy. This person sees, sees you as... Uh, <sighs> Why are if uh, yeah, for some of you I don't know why this person uh, sees you as the center of attention, not like in a bad way, but you might be a head turner again, like gorgeous, physically beautiful person, and your auric energy attracts so many people. You know, like also the way you smell. Yeah, this person wants. To, uh, for some of you, you might be a popular. You know, there might be a public recognition. You know, people around you love you, okay? And you just bring so much joy and happiness to people's li lives. You know, um, again, inner child healing and something about children. You know, th this for some of you, this person might be, you know, having these fantasies about having babies with you, okay? Door to personal healing and happiness, you know? Like, this person sees this beautiful potential with, you know, potential of connection with you, okay? So, let's see. What are their intentions towards my group number one universe? What are their intentions towards my group number one? Love who you are, you are divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things li life has to offer, okay? I feel like uh, if you have been healing constantly, I feel like you are healing. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I feel like you have been healing and, uh, you know, and, and by healing yourself, you have started attracting somebody who is compatible and divine counterpart. You know, no more karmic relationship. For some of you, have released karmic connections, okay? Be authentic, also with the taking action. This person wants to speak their truth. This person wants to be themselves and feels themselves around you, you know? Like, this person feels like they don't need to pretend to be somebody else. You give the sense of comfort and home, you know? Like, peace energy, okay? The union of hearts, yeah, soulmate. Yeah, definitely. This person has romantic feelings. You are limitless. Um, you can do anything you choose. Yeah, I feel like this person... Uh, maybe you have inspired this person to free themselves from karmic cycles also, okay? Maybe the shift happening within you has shifted uh, the energy of this person also, like energetical mirror kind of a thing, you know. 
I don't know why I, I'm channeling 7 p.m. I don't know why I've channeled, cha like, this time is going to be significant for somebody from this group, okay? 7 p.m. Why? Oh, you, you see a true love, okay? So it's true love, you know, like, it's not obsession, it's more of a true love. And divine counterpart, like, I feel comfort around my heart chakra, you know, like, that's why, uh, you know, you feel like home to this person and maybe you intentionally, unintentionally have helped this person to heal and shift the energy and set free. For some of you, this person sees you as somebody who has set uh, them free, okay, like you set me free from something or maybe your um, maybe let's say action towards your goals healing you know uh, you just your existence has inspired this person to maybe this person has been watching you obsessing you from afar maybe you know silently observing you and you have inspired this person in so many ways you know that's why this person is really confident and fixated on you that like it's my person definitely you know like it's true love it's my one it's the mother or father of my children you know like I'm gonna take the action you know like it's my soulmate it's my everything like I want to build a home and a legacy with this person okay so I hope to resonate with you I hope you enjoyed your reading thank you very much for watching see you hey group two welcome to your reading I'm channeling number three angelic number synchronicity somebody might be you know finding feathers around their household or somewhere in the nature okay who is obsessed who is obsessing over my group number two collective energy please you let's provide us with the most accurate answers who is obsessing over my group number two Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune might be dealing with Sag or an Earth sign, okay? Uh, somebody who is generous, okay? Also somebody who is financially stable and uh, who is a giver, okay? Also with the Lover's Energy, you might be dealing with a Gemini. It's a soulmate connection. This person might be, you know, fantasizing about physical intimacy and you know, and if you had this physical intimacy with this person, this person like has started has started obsessing over you after this, you know, union, you know, like I, I don't know why I, I've channeled the taste of yours, you know, like this person for some of you, if, if you know, for my collective who had this physical intimacy with this person, okay? I feel like this person uh, loves the way you taste, okay? So the hanged man, I, I feel like this person has very sensual lips or maybe loving your lips, okay? And maybe loves to kiss you, I don't know why, I, I just put my fingers on my lips, you know, like this, maybe this person loves to maybe touch your lips with his fingers, I don't know. The hanged man, Pisces energy, okay? Who is obsessing over my group number two collective? Nine of Swords, yeah. This person feels overwhelmed. This person feels addicted to you. We have, look at this, you know, lovers and the devil. Devil clarifying the lovers, okay? I feel like what I'm channeling from this, yeah, uh, you know, like um, physical intimacy and, you know, that connection is gonna be bomb AF, you know, like, this person feels very addicted to you, you know, like, like, y this person is very tempted by your energy and your physical beauty and feels connection. And right now, uh, let's say this uh, soul connection is on the shadow side because of this person's fears, okay? Like, uh, maybe feeling stuck, maybe this person needs healing, okay, and gain new perception. Mm -hmm. Somebody from this group, uh, you know, like, uh, your person might be having twisted ideal of love, okay. 
also somebody might be having life path number six you know what means this person has so much karma to release and cleans in this lifetime and this person carries so much karmic energy and you know let's say mirrors projects on other people lives this karmic energy you know like this person like might be dealing with a capricorn what's interesting with capricorn people saturnian energies like those people somehow teach lost lessons to people you know like they you know connection with them might be painful for some people but also those connection you know like saturn teaches you saturn is a master you know like uh, you know, it's kind of a connection that pain brings blessing kind of an energy, you know, like for some of you, I feel like you guys um, like this, for some of you, the you know, the purpose of this connection could have been transmuting, you know, like let's say mirroring and inspiring one another to transmute your pain to the blessing, you know being empowered by the pain not playing the victim anymore you know being an overcomer victoriously you know two of cups past life connection soulmate mutual love knight of wands yeah 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 for some of you this person could have had this sexual addiction besides this connection okay again so much past life karma something within this person's you know always needing to be validated by, by the others you know codependency codependent relationships and that's why somehow triggers fears you invoked some sort of fear and trigger to the yeah yeah i i don't like this energy okay so for some of you like i don't like to bring up this psychological diagnosis to anybody but you know some of you you know who you are dealing with right some of you could have been dealing with a narcissist okay very damaged inner child and inner self you know like this person is living in their shadow selves right now you know like i don't know why i i have channeled the energy of naruto it's one of my favorite animes, you know, like I have literally grown up with this. I was 14 when it started and, you know, and uh, what I love about this anime is that um, helping people to see from another perspective to situationship because, you know, uh, first those villains, you know, um, after you know let's say several series they just show up the perspective of this bad guy evil guys and villains and it turns out that there is no villain actually those villains are actually the victims of the circumstances and traumatic childhood being and living in survivor mode and having unhealthy coping mechanisms and trying to change it in unhealthy ways you know what i'm saying like this reading is getting deeper but i feel like you guys to maybe you know both sides were meant to teach really valuable lessons through pain in this connection okay king of swords somebody needed to open up their heart space somebody was very much you know again damaged inner child that's why being you know hot and cold maybe always not trying to be too attached to people emotionally always trying to wearing this mask of this heartless person like i don't have emotions i put my logic above my feelings this person wants to communicate, this person feels very regretful and I feel like some sort of a shift has happened okay, you see, transformation and tower I feel like, yeah, I feel like you have released this person's energy and you have 
moved on because this person was very manipulative this person was a gaslighter for some of you I, I you know this person was not reliable and it was all because of the survival instincts of those fear-based thoughts subconscious fears you know what I'm saying like This person, I feel like for some of you, loved to control people and felt empowered by con controlling people, you know? Very... I don't know. Envy, you see? This person is very possessive over you, okay? Like, obsessing over, especially for my group who has decided to move on from this toxicity because it wasn't so, you see? What I was talking about heart chakra activation okay at some point at some point in your life you have inspired this person to tap uh, you know tap into more into their heart space i feel like your person your purpose your mission in this person's life what did i just say walking away you have walked away from this person and this person is obsessing because cannot understand how you could set yourself free from their charms and manipulations very karmic energy okay angel of love <sighs> journey yeah you see karmic lesson this person was a lesson to you okay lesson to you to understand your self-worth to un acknowledge what a valuable person you are and setting healthy boundaries to understand that you deserve more than this you didn't deserve to be you know played mind games being manipulated you deserve I feel like this person has taught you how to love yourself happy family Yeah, I feel like for some of you uh, are headed towards this committed relationship. I feel like this person was non-committal, okay? And right now, as you have walked away and decided to heal yourself, and as this whole um, connections uh, purpose was helping you to heal yourself through pain and transmute this, this pain into the blessing, now you are attracting a blessing, okay? Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Yeah, I, I feel like, look at this, how many angelic energies are here. And, you know, from sacral to heart, you know. Again, you know, um, let's say, um, shifting this devil energy into the lover's energy, you know. Like, both are soul connections, right? And uh, those devil and the lover's energy are very similar, but it's just, you know, match made in hell, very draining, very manipulative, very, you know, unhealthily attached connection. And it is very uplifting, divinely guided, you know, healthy connection. I feel like you are headed towards this healthy connection right now. Okay. This person has just taught and was meant to teach you how to understand your value genuinely, okay? I, I, I hear love bombing. For some of you, this person could have trapped you in the first stage of the relationship connection with love bombing. It's, it's this manipulation technique of this person, okay? Yeah. What are their intentions towards my group number two? True love. Um, let's see. You are limitless. Yeah. Again, it's m more of um, what you are headed towards because you have set yourself free and moving towards true love because, you know, this person's lesson is seeing you being happy with somebody else you know ask for help i feel like maybe you have been praying for healing for some of you uh, this journey with this person has inspired maybe pushed you towards to asking for the guidance and answers you know why i'm feeling this way 
you know, in my case, my personal experience, you know, I have started being, you know, more open to learning psychology to understand myself and people around me and, you know, understand my patterns, you know, why I kept feeling attracted towards the similar people, you know, all those trust issues, all those fears, all those fears of, you know, uh, let's say commitment actually, you know, came from me, you know, actually, you know, trust issues just came from the state of me thinking, you know, unintentionally, subconsciously that I did not, I did not deserve to be loved. I did not deserve a loyal companionship. I did not deserve to be happy, you know, like, yeah, you have learned a lot from this connection, okay? I feel like, yeah, I love you, you see, maybe, I don't know, like, this person for some of you may think that you are their true love and they love you, but actually they don't, you know, like, it's not what true love is by, you know, gaslighting people, trying to control and trying to trap, you know, and, you know, like, Again, I feel like it's mostly, you know, Ace of Cups and with true love. You releasing this person is attracting your true love to your yourself, your life, okay? Yeah. I hope to resonate with you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you very much for watching. See you. Hey, group three. Welcome to your reading. Let's see. I'm channel collective image of men. People choosing this group three, please, universe, provide us with the most accurate answers. Who is obsessing over my group number three? Eight of Swords. Who is obsessing over my group number three? King of Wands and Three of Swords. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Somebody feels heartbroken over you. Okay. Somebody just cannot stop fantasizing about you, okay? Lasting over you, wanting to pursue you, but, you know, feeling stuck. For some of you, you could have blocked this person, okay? But it does not hold this person back to create a fake account and stalk you, okay? Two of Swords. Yeah, you may not, you know, see or, you know, maybe... Um, assume this person obsessing over you, you know? Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Might be your co-worker. Strength Leo energy. Okay. For another group, what I'm feeling like... Um, I, I hear mixed signals. I feel like this person might be seeing you, you know, thinking that you give them mi mixed signals. You also may think this way about this person. For whatever reason, I am uh, tapping into this mirror energy, okay? I feel like both of you are seeing each other as heartbreakers. <laughs> so funny. But besides this situation, for some of you, it's your work-related person and this work ethic does not let this person to open up and pursue you but this person feels very motivated and driven to come towards and be passionate and you know be active you know like and pursue you open up his feelings you know like i feel like this person sees you as somebody who's very strong who has strong personality i hear smart this person thinks that you are a smart person Okay, uh, who is obsessing over my group number three? Five of Wands. This person has very, you know, conflicted mindset right now. This person feels confused. This person doesn't know how to approach you, okay? Three of Pentacles, again, work-related, okay? Or maybe contemplating and overthinking, overanalyzing how to make this work, okay? Six of Cups. Past life connection, eight of cups, okay? For some of you, again, what I'm channeling for, for my... Like, I'm channeling two energies here, you know? For one of you, it's your co-worker who has a crush on you, obsessing over you, but cannot uh, open up his feelings or her feelings because of this work ethic, you know? Like, it may not seem appropriate or, you know, 
you know, like um, professional at all to open up his feelings or her feelings to their love interest, okay? But this person, you know, wants to take you out, I hear dinner to dinner, maybe wants to buy you chocolates, flowers, give you gifts, show this affection, feels very passionate. For the other group, it's just somebody who you have blocked and left behind, okay? You you just didn't want to deal with their bullshits, okay? Like, you know, you could have felt like this person was playing mind games with you, was didn't have the best interest in their hearts towards you, okay? Who is obsessing over my group number three universe? Who is obsessing over my group number three universe? Who is obsessing? Ace of Cups, okay? Yeah, this person has emotions, you know, feelings towards you. This person wants to offer their cup of love, you know? Open up, yeah, the sun, Leo energy. I feel like this person is just having inner conflicts, okay? Queen of Pentacles. Somebody might be having an Earth Venus element, you know, like... Like, this person, like, has conflicted mindset. Like, one day they... They may appear very flirty, flirtatious, very interested in you. The next day they may hold back because of their fears. I feel like it's nothing personal. This person just has inner conflicts, okay? It has nothing to do with you because this person actually has very genuine feelings. Who is obsessing over my group number three universe? Who is obsessing over my group number three? I don't know why I am channeling a tarot reader's energy. I don't know why. I, I actually love her a lot, you know? Uh, I I think most of you know her and she does this zodiac readings Ali Staro Ali, Ali, Ali okay like Alina okay I love her she, I think she uh, she's Romanian you know I, I love her wife you know she's a Leo and I love her cat Felix you know Five of Swords. For some of you, this person may see you as somebody who is very attractive, okay, physically beautiful and radiant, and who attracts lots of admirers, who is a head turner, and this person doesn't like it, okay, like this person may be feeling insecure around you, okay, for some of you, and sabotaging, even though they have this genuine feelings, but this person feels jealous if you get this attention, okay? The temperance, yeah, this person is holding back his emotions or her emotions, but this person yet... <laughs> yeah, you see a seven of cups. This person might be thinking that you have so many options in love, you have so many admirers around, but all those feelings are overwhelming this person, but this person finds you really cute and adorable, also feels jealous when somebody else gives you this attention, wants to fight, wants to win, win you over, but doesn't know how, you know, like so many conflicted energies, okay? Who is obsessing over my group number three, Collective Energy Universe? Blossoming in abundance, yeah. This person might be seen as somebody who is abandoned. Also, again, might be your coworker for, you know, vast majority of it's work related. Okay, this person wants to help you. This person wants to be supportive of you. Okay. This seed, Capricorn energy. Okay. Angel of balance. Yeah, I feel like this person feels really... I don't know why here secure. You you make you may be making this person feel safe, okay? And very at home. You make this person feel comfort comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> the garden and the gate. Yeah. This person is hesitating, you know, again, one day feels very flirtatious, very into you, the next day holding back, like should I take this leap of faith? Am I gonna be rejected? You know, I want you, I don't know how I'm gonna pursue you, you know, like this weird energy, okay? 
goddess of the moon because this person finds you you know holds you up on a pedestal finds you very gorgeous you know like you also some of you might be intuitive people the world yeah major major arcanas also financial constraints I feel like for some of you again you for some of you maybe feel um, you know make this person feel insecure for whatever reason okay this person might be having abandonment issues okay but regardless like this person val values you a lot you know like you know yeah oh what I'm also channeling like this person might be scared that after if they open up their feelings their hearts to you you are gonna block them okay you are gonna start ignoring them okay you know yang but this person sees uh, this potential you know again feeling very peaceful around you you know feeling like home you feel like home to this person that's cute okay so what are their intentions towards my group number three? Be in the present and dream of the future. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Yeah. When we dream, everything is possible. Yeah. For, again, this person one day wants you. The next day may hold back because, you know, like, it's impossible. Like, like we can't be together. You know, this person may be scared of the judgment of the, you know, people around, you know, love is all around you. Yeah, I feel like this person feels really jealous when you get attention from the other people, you know. This person thinks that you have many options, you know, and it's very overwhelming thought of this, you know. Forgiveness, yeah. And for the other group, what I'm feeling like, okay, I'm channeling again two energies. For some of you, if you have blocked your ex, your person, whoever was the, you were dealing with in the past, this person wants your forgiveness and move on, okay? Because they want to offer this love, okay? And wants, they want to reconcile with you, okay? Also with the Five of Swords energy, you could have arg argued with this person. There could have been, you know, sense of jealousy. Maybe somebody wanted to make uh, the another, another person jealous. Maybe it was both parties playing those games, you know, being acting up li really childishly, okay? But also what I'm feeling like, somebody needs to release their past grudge, okay? Forgive whoever was this past person and move on okay maybe you you uh, you know bring up this past hurt within this person and that's why you know their fear may be holding them back you know like i want you like no 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 i want you no 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 you know kind of an energy okay so i hope it resonated with you i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you very much for watching see you